guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a hair review unboxing chit chat talk all about my hair so this is a unit from sexy hair if that name sounds familiar it's because i think last month i did a new hair alert on sexy hair as well that's where the red hair is from i constructed that wig myself this one was already pre-done and I got it in 14 inches and it's the Brazilian, it's Brazilian 14 inches straight hair and I purchased it for 84, like around $85 but right now Sexy Hair is having a winter sale and FYI this video is not sponsored. I don't have enough clout to be doing sponsored videos but I just really wanted blue hair mainly for my Founders Day. If you don't know I am a Zeta and our Founders Day was January 16th but my hair didn't come in on time. It took like a week, maybe like a week and a day for me to get my hair and by that time my Founders Day was done and over with so I didn't get my hair until Saturday, till Friday actually, Friday morning. So I was unable to wear it for Founders Day but I still think I can still wear it for the rest of January and for the rest of the winter time. But yeah, so this is what the hair looks like. It's silky, it's straight. I mean, what more else can you want from a regular 14 inch wig? It does come pre-plucked and it does also has baby hair. This is not my hair, this is the baby hair that came with the wig. But I didn't pre-pluck any more of the hair because again, it's already pre-plucked. And ironically, the way that the hairline is set up on this wig, it fits my hairline perfectly. So I really didn't have to pre-pluck anything. And I'm new to this because this is a frontal. So I'm not really sure how the frontal game works. I personally feel like I cut the lace a little bit too short. So it's kind of... It's, it's tight on my head but it feels kind of weird in my opinion because I feel like I cut the lace a little bit too short so I think the next time I order a frontal or make a frontal wig I think I'm going to do the other methods that I've seen on YouTube where they like place it on their head spray it down and then cut it um, maybe that would probably work better just because again I feel like I cut the lace a little bit too short but nonetheless, it's like you really can't see it on this side because you got this. And then you really can't see it on this side because of this covering. But you can see like a little bit of my hair, which I'll just, you know, use edge control to just make some more baby hairs to match this baby hairs. And I'm not used to making baby hairs. So if this is a little bit too much, please don't cover me. I'm still new to this. I'm still learning this whole wig thing because I'm used to just getting a sew-in so I'm not really used to the wig game yet so this is like my fourth wig I do have four wigs and it's crazy because I don't have like one simple black wig so I really need to get on that but that's not the point the point of the video is for this hair so I think I already went over the specs like I said it's from sexy hair is Brazilian 14 inches straight. It is a constructed wig. It comes with the straps as well as a comb in the back and a comb in the front. I don't have neither one of those combs secured in here because I don't have my hair braided back or anything like that. I just have my hair brushed all the way back with a light brown wig cap that I got from my beauty supply store uh, for like three dollars and it's 180 density. And like I said, right now they're having a winter sale on their hair. And for my inches, it's now going to be like $83. So you only saving like $2 compared to how much I spent to get the wig in the first place. So yeah. Okay guys, so this is the hair out of the box. This is what it looks like. It is 14 inches, a 1B in blue. It's a frontal wig. And it has the baby hair right here. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like out of the box. Yeah. So on top of that, I also wanted to share with you guys the tools that I use to like get this to lay down and to also straighten my hair and all this stuff. So far the baby hairs go since that's the most prominent thing. I'm using this new edge control. I usually use hits but 
I don't know, it's really not doing it for me. So I'm trying out this Edge Booster one, but I got the small size, which I think is perfect for me. And it comes in different colors, different scents. So I got the Sweet Peach scent and it smells so good. And it says the Stronghold Water Base Pomade. So I just use this for the baby hairs along with like an old toothbrush that I no longer need. And then to glue this down, I've used the most common glue that most people use, the Got To Be Glue. So I got the small sample size of the Got To Be Ultra Glued in the black bottle. They also had this in the yellow bottle, but I like the black bottle better. And just to really secure it down, I got the Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray. And I also use this to lay down the, the flyaways. So I use that. Now as far as to straighten my hair and all this stuff, the first thing I do is I take a heat protectant. So this is the Cantu Shea Butter Thermal Shield Heat Protectant. I use this and just spray it all over the head, obviously. And for my straightener, I use a Revlon straightener. Let me get it. With the gold plates. And it comes with a little lock. And then these are the manuals here and the highest I believe it goes is to like 430 or maybe 480 but I use 330 to straighten my hair if I want to straighten it really quick now if I'm just like not really in a rush and I want to get it super super straight then I'll probably go down to like maybe 230 or something like that and so it won't really burn the hair but that's what I use and then if I was really trying to like lay it flat flat because it's sort of kind of bumpy right here so i'm not really sure what that's from i don't know if because it's a brand new wig or unit so it needs time to get used to my head and lay down because that's how the hair was for my red hair it was kind of lumpy up top and now now i've worn it plenty of times and stuff like that it's starting to go down and really mess with my head but if I don't have time for it to get its life together, I will just use my um, hot comb. And this is a plug-in hot comb. And this one says it's from Maxi. But I just got this from my, again, local beauty supply store. And I just use that to either get the part of my hair to lay really, really flat and whatnot. And then, of course, at night, I will just go ahead and tie the hair up. I did just put this wig on today so this is like my first initial reaction initial review of the hair but um I was saying like that's what I do with the other wigs that I have that if you know I need my hair to lay flat or whatever the, those are the tools that I use and these are the tools that I use to put this unit on and like I said, the only thing right now I'm having an issue with is this little bumpy part right here. I would just like for it to lay flat. So if you guys have any suggestions on that, please leave them down below in the comment section so I know what to do about that or what I know what to do the next time I order a wig. But yeah, you guys, this is the new hair for right now. I mean, don't get it switched out. Mom. I am going to switch it up and wear my other wigs from time to time in the video. But right now, this is the one that I guess that's going to be stuck to my head for a while until I get it off. And luckily, since these are all water-based products, all you got to do is just spray some water on your head. Let it soak and you can just take it off, wash the lace off, and then just let it dry out until the next time you want to wear it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little hair video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified when I upload a new video. As well as thumbs up this video for more hair reviews. And if you want to get this look, don't worry. It's coming. You guys, that video will be up on Thursday. So don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified when I upload videos. Which are on Tuesdays and Thursdays around 3pm. I try to get it around 3. Maybe it's a little bit later. But... They do go up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I know I've been absent for the past two weeks. And I'll have a video up at the end of the month with a end of the month update. Um, so I'll let you guys know the reason why I was gone for two weeks. But yeah. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.